I saw a black sheep, and this black sheep will be uncovered before daybreak. When you buy a phone, there are several features that are functional even without inserting a SIM card. One of those features is the calculator. Do you agree with me? Then you have some memory on the phone and you can store some music on the phone and connect your earpiece and you can get yourself entertained because the phone is capable through a few softwares that are inherent in it to play your music that is, um, is saved in a mode that is compatible with what the software on your phone can drive. So there are a few things you can do with your phone without the SIM card. But the purpose for which you got the phone is not because you want to listen to music. There is something called a transistor radio. And the purpose of the radio is to interpret radio waves and to give you distinct sound. The reason for which you got the phone is so that you can harmonize with the potential of the GSM network and take advantage of it to achieve communication. So the moment you insert the SIM card into your phone, the SIM card happens to be a product, a device that has what it takes to interface with the algorithm of the GSM network, which is invincible to the human eyes. So the moment you put in the SIM card, then your phone receives the network from the GSM frequency. And the moment your phone can access the network, then all modes of communication become possible. Phone call communications, possible. Text message communications, possible. Internet communications, possible. So internet applications like WhatsApp, like, help me, help me, help me. I'm not, oh my God, Telegram, become useful all of a sudden. And you think that's how it is until you travel to another country. And then your SIM card cannot synchronize with the GSM facility in that place. And then you just find out that, oh, the reason why I had connectivity was because my SIM card could understand the language and interpret the frequency of the GSM potential. Then you need to look for another SIM card that understands that frequency and you can bring the powers of the GSM network into your handset again. That's the same thing that happened to you. The day you gave your life to Christ, the SIM card is the Holy Ghost. And the moment the Holy Spirit was inserted into your spirit man, you gained access to the network of things that were obtainable in the kingdom of God. So you, you became capable of accessing the mind of God. You became capable of accessing the wisdom of God. And you became capable of functioning with the potential that access makes available. And that's the reason why we can take advantage of the power of God. All of that is in the network. Are you with me? You're not with me. All of that potential is locked on the network. So because we have access to the network, there are many things that we cannot do naturally that we are capable of doing because we have access to God's network. And I will cry and cry again and tell you that what makes a man a prophet is not that he has the capacity to say your name or say the name of your village or call out your phone number. Are you there? The mark of a true prophet is that he has capacity to reveal the things of God. He has capacity to reveal Jesus, reveal his kingdom, reveal his purposes, reveal his strategy, reveal his agenda so that the body of Christ can be equipped to flow with God on the same frequency. Someone with a spirit of divination can tell you your phone number. He can tell you the name of your father. But he cannot access the things of God because he doesn't have the same card. 
The Bible says that we have received a spirit which is not of this world, but a spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. Are you there? Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. Now, we went somewhere to preach the gospel, and the first preacher mounted the podium and began to speak. And when he began to speak, uh, it became clear to me through the network. Hallelujah. You know, the, the network has potential. The network has access to the, the, the crucible of spiritual knowledge. It has, oh my God. The Bible says that the spirit searches all things. All things. All things. And even the deep things of God. That is a search facility that is higher than Google. He can search into God. Search into his heart. Search into his belly. Bring out his wisdom. So this preacher was ministering. And the Spirit of God in me began to witness to me that that man is not operating by me. And I touched the minister that invited us. I said, where did you find this man? He said, oh, he said, he's, he's, I, I got him. I found him here. He was mighty in the Spirit. So I kept quiet. I kept quiet. Kept quiet. Since he didn't know, I would not be the one to tell him. Hallelujah. He finished ministering. And I... And he took all the time, the time I was supposed to preach, he preached his own time, preached my time, and all that I, I was left to do was to say a word of prayer. And I, my prayer became a parable. That I saw a black sheep, and this black sheep will be uncovered before daybreak. <laughs> you see, I, I, have, I, I have grown a little in the prophetic, a little, just a little. You don't need to say some things very clearly so that you, the, people will not shoot you. <laughs> Wisdom is profitable to that. I saw a black sheep. And this black sheep will be arrested before daybreak. That was the prayer point. Then we ended the program. Then the minister that invited us had a problem with the prophet. It was in the midst of the problem. The, the problem was that one of the people that he brought into the service to claim that the word of knowledge he gave was accurate, he, he was a borrowed vessel. They discussed behind the scene before all of the drama took place because the person was coming for additional money. The money they agreed was not disbursed. You know, when there are disbursement challenges. Aiko <laughs> Siko Baramos Avama. There were disbursement challenges somewhere along the line and the host pastor came to meet a disbursement issue on ground. That was where he discovered and the black sheep was unveiled. That was when he began to communicate. I have seen the black sheep. You see, if I had... <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me... Now, the reason why all of that was possible was because there was network. There was network. The Holy Spirit that has the capacity to search into all things gave me a little intelligence. Are you there? So if somebody is operating by the devil, the Holy Spirit can bring you intelligence because he can search into what? So that aspect of your spirit that has to do with the network, we call it fellowship. Because your spirit has that cap capability, your spirit has that capacity to link up to the hub of the grace of God and to achieve the blessing of access through the Holy Ghost. Hello, thanks for watching. I believe you've been blessed. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. God bless.